Hello everybody, how are you doing today? I'm Bonnie from Stampin' Up! and I get to talk to you about the Fruit Basket Bundle. I'm really excited about this. There are two components to the bundle, a stamp set, the Fruit Basket stamp set to be specific, and the Itty Bitty Fruit Punch Pack. Um, and these combined are going to give you a wide variety of choices for crafting, stamping, gifting, and all of those fun things you want to do. I really like these. One thing I want to point out is that the artwork on the stamp set is larger than the designs on the Itty Bitty Fruit Punch Pack. It makes it easier for you to align and to punch out correctly and not have any concerns. So let's jump right to it. I want you to see these amazing products. So this is the stamp set right here. And I'll, I've got a different paper and I'll go through and show you all of the different components and things you can do with it. And then the, this is the punch pack, the Itty Bitty Fruit Punch Pack. Um, I want to show you these a little bit uh, better, so I'm just going to tilt them up so you can see there's a pear. And this little fruit slice could be a lemon, lime, melon, whatever you want it to be. And then here you've got a pineapple and a strawberry. Lots of different things that you can do with these. And this bundle, remember that you get 10% off, so you can always save when you bundle. Okay, so now let me show you what I did. I wanted to show you what those images look like. All right, so we've got our fruit bowl right here. And this is just a simple fruit bowl. I just stamped it solid. That's what it looks like. That's what the image is. This image is actually um, just a little bit more designed. So you can use that as a bowl by itself, or you can layer this bowl on top of that one and see what you've got as a bowl with the design on it. That's called two stem stamping and it's really fun. This is just a fruit basket and the handle actually is separate. It's a separate image. But you can see how easy it is to line that up so that it looks like it was one stamp. That's just because it's a photopolymer stamp set, it's really easy to do the lining up. Then it also comes with really great greetings. And in case you're looking and you can't find that circle image, it's because I actually stamped the heart upside down, and so I got a circle. Oops, <laughs> but in case you're looking for a circle image, there's one. Then I also wanted to show, this is my Goldilocks principle. Have you ever done this? I was stamping, and I stamped it first, and this one was way too light. And I was like, oh, that's not going to work. Then I actually dropped it on my paper, so this one is too messy. The third time I stamped it was my Goldilocks moment, and I got the images just right. Now let me turn this around and show you the fruit images. So these are our different fruits. So I, I tried to stamp them out so you could see. You've got a component here. This is the bottom of the pineapple and the top of the pineapple. And then you also have the, op the option of the outline of the pineapple. This one is the, out the back circle of a lime or lemon wedge. That's that inside part, or you've got the outline of it. There's a pear. And this is the outline of a pear, and what I did was actually punch out using Lemon Lime Twist cardstock. So you can kind of see how that punch, how the stamp is slightly larger than that. Plus, that's a fun way to use it. Then you've got the strawberry, and then the little top of the strawberry, or the outline. Now, what you can do with these outlines is so many fun things. One thing you can do is color them in. You've, we've got all sorts of different coloring tools. One of the things that um, I like to do, as you can see, is layer those images right inside of them. Also, using the Darling Itty Bitty Punch Pack, Itty Bitty Fruit Punch Pack, I want to show you here is our little pineapple. You can see compared to my fingernail that it is itty bitty. If you punch it out twice using the Lemon Lime Twist cardstock and the Daffodil Delight cardstock, then you can assemble it just putting the lemon lime twist on top and you've got a fully assembled pineapple. Then I did the same thing. This one was stamped. I just did it with the two colors so you can see how cute that is. Ignore the top layer for now. Then this is our obviously our lemon wedge, our lime wedge. And then this one I stamped. Just wanted you to see how cute it is to stamp it. In order to do this, I stamped it off because the lemon lime twist is really strong. So I stamped it once and then again. Um, for our pear, we've just got a couple of examples of the pear there, so you can see how cute that one is. Um, I, this is the, the punch right down here, so I just did one where I stamped it off and one full strength. 
And then this one is our um, strawberry. And then I stamp the strawberry. So you can see just, you can get tons of different looks. Now there are other accessories that come with this that I just wanna show you. They're not part of the bundle, <clears throat> but you can buy these four little classic Stampin' Spots and this designer series paper. This is a little paper stack that goes with it. Now the images in this paper stack are not specifically lined up. Well, this one isn't because it's a pair, but it's not exactly lined up to go along with any of these, but they're oversized. These are oversized images. So you can generally punch out something from the designer series paper if you want to. And I gave you examples of that on this top line. <clears throat> so this is from the designer series paper, a couple of the little pineapples. This is from the designer series paper. You've got something that, this is a, um, looks like a grapefruit wedge to me, and a watermelon. So you can turn that into a watermelon. A couple of different pears that I punched out, and a couple of different strawberries. And one of the things I like to do with the punch pack is just punch them out and mount them with the colors behind them, put it on a different um, backing, and you've got a simple card right there. Well, there you have it. That is the Fruit Basket Bundle. I hope you take advantage of it because I think you will really enjoy all the things that you can create with it. Make sure you share those with your friends and family and let us know what you created too. Most importantly, if you want to order these products, go to stampinup.com or contact your local demonstrator. Thanks so much.